playground for me as a man to hide in a character and expose myself in ways that uh, I realized how emotionally repressed I was. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So 19 years of emotional repression just comes out in those, in those characters initially. And then I learned about the artistry of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, still constantly learning. So do you still train and take classes and do all that stuff? Or? Um, no, I learn now just by working. I'm fortunate mm -hmm. enough to be working and happy to, and I learn every day. So what kind of things do you learn? I mean, what on a given day surprises uh, you? Well, I, I got, like let's say, I, I was getting really good at helping continuity and director and editors with knowing where cameras are, knowing what mm -hmm. they were actually trying to get, always looking at their lens, because mm -hmm. like, I want to direct someday. Mm -hmm. So I get really involved in the, with the camera department, just mm -hmm. to understand that. And, okay, so I got really pretty decent at that, right. um, being very consistent with, with the, f to help them edit. And then also it helped me as an actor, knowing when I, I messed up, right. but I didn't want to mess up the take for somebody else. Mm -hmm. I, I would do something that didn't match so that they couldn't use the take. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but then the her locker rolls around, you don't even see a camera. So I'm like, <laughs> all right, perfect, just let that go. And it goes back to feeling like I'm on stage again where yeah. I started. Um, but it didn't spoil you, you, it sounds like. You get to learn from how every actor works differently. You know? Every director kind of either gets in the way or helps mm -hmm. or is absent. Um, and you, you, you feel something different, you know? So do you it, feel like... You, talk to, you could sit here and talk to another actor and have a completely different questions yeah. that come up, you know what I mean? Yeah. Some may not be vocal. Some may just sit here and like answer, yeah. Or not want to fucking be here. But you know what I mean? It's like yeah. I get a lot from who I get to work with, you know, who I'm fortunate enough to work with. It's just amazing how different the approaches are. And, you know, they're the actors who want to be... Handheld and the directors who yeah. the actors who want to be kept left away, left alone. Yep, yep. You know that's their idea of a good act, uh, director. Mm -hmm. It's a very different. Yeah, animal. my idea of a good director is you know say it in one sentence or don't say it at all. Mm -hmm. If you have to yammer on right. for five minutes about what's really going on, this mm -hmm. should have taken place well before cameras are rolling. Yeah. You know? So do you feel like you've got your method? No, it's not the method. <laughs> it, down? It's, it's, or is it, it developing? It's just, it still shifts depending mm -hmm. on what the role is and what. Uh, who I'm working with, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, 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 I certainly am, am, am more method than, than any sort of specific technique, but um, the truth is really all that matters mm -hmm. to me, and it, whatever it takes for me to get to that truth. If it's dishonest, then it ain't right. Mm -hmm. So were this set and the stage feel like home to you, or are they places you love being, or is it the actual just work yeah, of being in front yeah. of the camera? that's the vacation, that's not the work. The work uh -huh. is getting the work. Okay. That's the vacation. That's the, the playtime. So fun. Going to set, skipping to work. That's a, a wonderful gift that I feel like I've stumbled, stumbled across. So picking the right thing is the challenge? Uh, yeah, I think, I think so. I mean, but even, yeah, yeah, I guess just doing what, what your heart, following mm -hmm. your heart, doing what you connect to, um, that feels right. So have you had that experience mm -hmm. on this movie from the beginning to the end? Or are you, is it changing uh, as you go along? Down the or the Hurt Locker? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was, again, I was, it's been so long. Uh, <laughs> two years ago we finished it. A year prior to that I was started. So like three, three and a half years ago, um, I started this working on this movie. Does it feel like another life at this point, like um, so long ago? Some parts of it feel like a long time ago, mm -hmm. some parts still have not left. And uh, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, did I skip to work? Not all the time, no, not mm -hmm. on this job. <laughs> <laughs> but I had two guys that, you know, were, were lifting me up as right. we went, you know, and, uh, and Captain and Mark is a support group. And great some hidden cameras. We had, we had some really, yeah, and some hidden <laughs> cameras, yeah. <laughs> so did you go to Venice? Went to Venice. So what was yeah. so was that the first time you saw the film, or were you seen it no, we quietly? Saw, that's the first time I saw it with an audience. With an audience. Yeah, I saw it once um, at CAA um, prior to, and that was only with like four people, and they're all with me. So I didn't get really that objective. So at that point, are you looking at your own work only, or are you able to see the movie? Uh, I'm not able to see the movie honestly, completely. I I, I still have a hard time mm -hmm. watching myself, and I'm in this quite a bit enough to. Be like, am I cringing or anything? Okay, after I see it once or twice, I don't really have to look at myself. Then I start noticing, when I saw it in Toronto with right. a, uh, an English-speaking audience, mm -hmm. it was a little strange watching it mm -hmm. in Italian subtitles and all that. Was kind of, right. but seeing with an English 
English-speaking audience, they were getting a lot of the jokes. Mm -hmm. And like, oh, cool, they're, <laughs> ah, they're laughing, that's fantastic, because mm -hmm. they released the tension. Like, right. Ah, it's working, awesome. Then listening to the sound design. Mm -hmm. Amazing, the it sound amazing. design. So that's all I hear. Every time now mm -hmm. I come to these things, it's a screening that's happening right now, and I'm gonna come in at the end of this, and the song's gonna be playing at the end credits, and it mm -hmm. makes me weep. Every time, mm -hmm. chills, boom, just brings me to uh, my knees, man. It's, uh, so I, I look at all these things, and mm -hmm. look at all the, I mean, I remember being in the editing room and just being like, how do you deal with mm -hmm. 200 hours of footage, a million feet of Super mm -hmm. 16? How, how do you, <laughs> forget <laughs> it. So I really appreciate all those things, and that's what I really start noticing. So were you surprised when you, as you saw it coming together, you saw it a yeah. few times? Yeah, absolutely. Different movie than you expected, or the same movie but with different <laughs> stuff? Um, it was, yeah. It, not a different movie than I expected. I'm just surprised that it's, it came together. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big undertaking to do this little independent movie uh, in the Middle East with a very small budget. And, and the subject matter and everything. There's a thousand reasons why this right. should have never been made. So then I see this kind of kind of come together. As soon as they started throwing, just even the temp tracks and the mm -hmm. sound, realizing like, oh, especially in a film like this, which right. it's really kind of uh, helps set the tone. And uh, it's amazing what uh, what she what she captured. That we did not know because we never right. saw cameras. She had these four clamshells. She'd run around <laughs> with her little wrap on and. <laughs> That's good, it's good, it's cool. Let's go, let's do this now. I'm like, okay. It's like a now, I look at a few things, you know, yeah. here and there, but that way, you get, a lot of time I like to watch playback and I get a good sense of like what the film's gonna look like and mm -hmm. watch dailies and, yeah, but her locker I didn't really see hardly, but for maybe three minutes mm -hmm. of, of any daily or anything. So the audience reaction at Toronto, which was massive, yeah. does that affect you, does that hit you? It's overwhelming, it's overwhelming. It's, mm -hmm. a, um, it's the closest thing to being back on stage. Mm -hmm. to that interaction with an audience. Mm -hmm. um, normally it's, you walk on the street and it's like, oh hey, you're that guy in SWAT, like, well, that was 2003, yeah, right. how you doing? <laughs> what well, I saw last night, I'm like, cool, mm -hmm. wow, did it. thanks. <laughs> but this is like an immediate thing, being there, like tonight, with an, an audience there, and they, and you get to sit and chat with them about it. Mm -hmm. That, um, I kind of like that now. I used to, used to kind of hate it. But for this, is, for this film, it's mm -hmm. been so fun to talk about. Talk about SWAT wouldn't be interesting in the Q&A, you know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. And we didn't do those. <laughs> but for a movie like this that drudges up thought mm -hmm. and emotion, not what to think or what to feel, but mm -hmm. drudges those things up, and I love to hear what people think. They want to know the answers. They want me to give them the answers. They already mm -hmm. know the answers. Because you're yeah. right. You know, I don't have to yeah. tell you. I can tell you what I think, mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter. That's why I think this film succeeds. It's about what it feels. And Everybody invokes, feels. It invokes thought and feelings for people. That is a powerful thing to do, and that to me is what true cinema is. So when the journey is the best, it stays with you forever, and then sometimes you are done with a movie when it's not such a great movie, necessarily? Um, yeah, if, if the experiences weren't, I mean, don't get me wrong, the experiences on The Hurt Locker were, were, were terrible. <laughs> I have a lot of terrible memories of, of shooting the movie. Mm -hmm. And, but, but now it is, is, is time for um, celebration. Um, a year ago was really the time of celebration mm -hmm. watching the film actually oh we had the budget and we actually got it together I can't I yeah. can't believe it was well, there a moment where you feel a sense of completion on a picture like this where you go okay my work no. is done I've got I've gotten what I can out of this is it while you're still finishing on the set is it seeing how the audience finally reacts to the film and the work and or is it awards coming Wait, up or? oh um, no yeah when I'm done in the movie I, I feel like I'm done um, there's not, I mean, I can change probably a little bit in, you know, on the sound stage, you know, with, with the you know, vo voice and stuff. And, right. But, I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I, I feel good about finishing a scene, mm -hmm. finishing some, an important part of the movie that, right. that's very intricate. If, as long as I can get that, then right on. I feel, I feel good then. That, I don't mm -hmm. have to finish. And that's a wrap. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. I, yeah, we did it. There's just certain days that I feel like, all right. Like on The Town, for mm -hmm. instance, the movie I just shot, I was done. I just finished two, three days ago. Mm -hmm. In the last two months, I feel like I didn't do a whole lot, but the first three weeks were really intense. It mm -hmm. was all over. I had to map out this character, right. get all, lay all the proper pieces. Everything else is just filler. Mm -hmm. So the last two months, I did nothing. I felt mm -hmm. like I was already wrapped. Right. So 
I feel so like prep I was is done. really your I feel work. like I was done the first three and a half weeks. So when you prep, that's the real core all of All the, the prep for you. is is is, ap is all the work. The application of the work is the fun. Mm. Is so the, all the nuances and layering the stuff and yeah. finding new things and exploring and what people give you and it's not what you expect and or was and mm. you know it's, that's that's the joy of, for me of, of acting. And is all the award stuff a distraction or is it? I mean, I'm sure it's pleasant, but. You know, not a distraction. It's um, it, I'm just take I just take that kind of day by day. That's it's not a, anything I know. It's not familiar to me, um, and it really doesn't matter to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's nice. It's better than being kicked in the nuts, I guess. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, it's great to be validated with something you love to do. Yeah. I mean, I, I can just say it as simply as that. Excellent.